Capricorn. You need to know this right now for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Capricorn could be having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with someone from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now listen, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with maybe reuniting with this person. You can tell me that, you know, they're wanting to reunite with you and you're saying, you know what? No, I don't think so. Now, you can tell me that you're being accused of something that's happened in the past here and you're trying to explain, give an explanation, excuse, or defense, or you're kind of standoffish with them over something that happened in the past here, okay? I hope this does not involve children. Listen, Capricorn, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Capricorn, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you guys had some type of immature, premature communication or you went looking and spying clarify the page of swords 
for Gemini. Clarify the Page of Swords for Gemini. Oh, really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Clarify the Page of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Page of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Page of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Capricorn, you know, this could all be work or business here. But you can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something here. Now listen, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication. And maybe you're trying to muster the strength and courage to come in and work things out with this person. Or you're restraining yourself from working things out with this person after some type of immature, premature communication. You could also tell me that, hey, you know what? I'm being cautious here. Maybe I'm looking and checking up on them before I decide to work things out here, okay? Or you're telling me you're discovering something when you're looking and spying. Are you finding out something that's going on with work or business with them and someone else? Capricorn, you have the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Capricorn, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Clarify the two of cups for Capricorn. Clarify the two of cups. For Capricorn, clarify the two of cups. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now listen, you can tell me that you're closed off to this person, your soulmate here, yes, kind of holding back, kind of restraining yourself here. However, you could also tell me that this is some type of an agreement with work or business here. Something is going on here. Maybe you're thinking about going back to a past employer or looking for a new employer and having to hold on to your coins here. We'll see. But Capricorn, do you have a soulmate energy with someone else that you're kind of just keeping close to your chest here? And maybe they're in the picture, but you're keeping them at bay until you check on things here? Capricorn, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Capricorn, listen, you're telling me that you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the 10 of Wands for Capricorn. Capricorn, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Two of Cups again. So like I said, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. So listen, you can tell me that you're having a difficult time with some type of an agreement. Maybe with work or business here, having to hold on to your coins. Or you're having a difficult time with the soulmate energy that you have. Now it can be your present partner who is your soulmate, you're just closed off to them. Or someone else from the past who is in the picture here that is making it tough for you, okay? It's becoming a burden to you, and maybe you're wanting to check before you uh, leap. Capricorn, you have the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the five of swords 
for Capricorn. Clarify the Five of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, you can tell me that, yes, you guys had this tit for tat tug of war, toe-to-toe -to -toe going on, and you're just wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You can tell me, hey, we had this tit for tat tug of war, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, some type of mind games and manipulation. And, you know, maybe, hey... Let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. But when I look at this read, I don't know if you're like pissed at your present partner and you're ready to move on to someone else from your past here, but you're a little hesitant in doing so. Capricorn, you need to know this right now for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.